Welcome to another exciting episode of Printing the Recipes on the Menu, or as I like to call it, Hydraulic Clutch 101. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. So this is another video in a series of videos teaching you how to design and build your own hydraulic clutch. I've been in the business of selling hydraulic clutch parts for about 20 years. I've designed half a dozen different brackets, both by myself and in conjunction with other individuals. I've helped a lot of people design their own brackets, and that's what this video series is about. Now, if you don't want to mess with designing it yourself and you want something that's ready-made, I have T5 Universal kits, I have T5 Mustang kits, I have... TKX kits. I also have an assortment of other brackets, slave cylinders, master cylinders, all the things that we're discussing, I can offer in, in a package. But that's not why you came here. You didn't come to watch an ad on Day's Cars Hydraulic Clutch Parts. You came to learn some of this stuff for yourself. And so today we're going to talk about mounting the master cylinder for a hydraulic clutch. Mounting the master cylinder for a hydraulic clutch, how hard can that be? You drill a couple holes, you mount up the master cylinder, and boom, you're good to go. If only it was that simple. In a perfect world, you want to put that master cylinder perfectly in line with the clutch pedal from side to side. In other words, lined up with the pedal in relation to the driver's side and passenger side of the vehicle. You also want to put that master cylinder in the perfect location to where the push rod can come straight out from the master cylinder, connect to the pedal, and full pedal stroke will equal full master cylinder stroke. Seems pretty simple. Problem is we live in the real world. And in the real world, there's all kinds of other stuff under the hood of a car that does not typically allow you to mount that master cylinder where you want it. More often than not, it has to be mounted a little bit lower to clear the brake master cylinder. My master cylinders for my Mustang kits are mounted below the brake master cylinder. And in doing so, we are well below the clutch linkage connection point on the pedal. I've seen a lot of guys who mount their master cylinder in the OEM clutch linkage hole on the firewall, and they simply run the push rod straight to the pedal, drill a new hole, and connect it. The problem with that is they are affecting the pedal ratio. We are significantly reducing the pedal stroke for the same amount of stroke on the master cylinder. In other words, if we can connect it higher on the pedal, Full pedal stroke equals full master cylinder stroke. If we connect it lower on the pedal, less stroke at the pedal is going to equal full stroke at the master cylinder. And the downside to doing that is twofold. One, your clutch engages and disengages so quickly that you can't really feel what the clutch is doing. And two, you significantly increase pedal effort. And the whole reason most guys are going to a hydraulic clutch is to reduce pedal effort. To solve this problem, I invented the offset push rod. Now the two that I sell are basically identical, the only difference being the 67 and up Mustang offset push rods come with a longer mounting bolt and some shims. But basically, this offset push rod, specifically designed for a classic Mustang, may not work in your application, allows the installer to mount the master cylinder in the OEM clutch linkage hole on a classic Mustang, allows the push rod to come in through that hole, and then because of the offset, it goes up and connects to the OEM clutch linkage hole in the pedal. This gives us almost full pedal stroke. This gives us a great pedal ratio, and this solves our mounting issues. On my 62 Galaxy, I had to make a much bigger offset push rod, and I was actually having issues with it bending the push rod because of the length of the offset. It was creating a lot of leverage. 
So for that application, I ended up putting in a second block and an angled piece tying the two together and blah, blah, blah. In typical Days Cars fashion, I totally overcomplicated things. I sent that information to a customer that was asking about my Galaxy install because they were putting a, one of my kits in a Galaxy and they came up with this. This is a lot cleaner. This is a lot smoother. This is going to accomplish the same thing as the offset push rod, but it's gonna support the push rod and you're not gonna have issues. For the Mustang, because I'm only having to drop at three quarters of an inch, the block and the heim joint, perfect solution. But for something where you need more drop, like on the Galaxy, then you really should do something more like this. The other thing that's super important when mounting a master cylinder to your firewall is to use a firewall reinforcement. I've seen people drill holes in their firewall, they slide the master cylinder in, they bolt it down and use a couple of little washers. The problem is the sheet metal on a firewall is super thin. And as you're applying that clutch, especially if you're hitting it hard, you're power shifting, those kind of things, that firewall is going to flex. And one, that's going to affect how the pedal feels. But two, that's going to create fatigue in the metal on the firewall, and you're going to have problems down the road. By using a reinforcement, you're spreading that pressure over a bigger area. Now, we're not talking a huge area, but it's not just two little washers, one on each side. And that will significantly tighten down the master cylinder and keep things from flexing. This is why master cylinders for brakes and clutches that are installed from the factory are not installed directly onto the firewall because the firewall cannot handle the stress. The last thing is the remote reservoir. Now, not all master cylinders have a remote reservoir. The master cylinders that I sell with my kits all come with a remote reservoir and an attaching reservoir. So you have the option to either mount the reservoir directly onto the master cylinder or mount it remote. The advantage to a remote reservoir master cylinder is twofold. One, it takes up less space. You can now tuck that master cylinder up tight underneath the brake master cylinder. But two, and this is a big one, you now have the freedom to clock your hydraulic clutch master cylinder. It no longer has to be mounted in such a way that the opening for the fluid to come in is at the top. It can now be on either side. And this creates more room. This is how I have it mounted in my Galaxy. This is how I have it mounted in my Mustang. And then wherever the reservoir is convenient for you, you can just mount that up and be good to go. One of my friends in Texas, he's got several vehicles that are running a hydraulic clutch. And on those vehicles, they actually drilled a hole into the reservoir of the brake master cylinder and use that as a fluid source for the hydraulic clutch master cylinder. And that is another way to go. Now, for me personally, if I was going to do that, I would make sure that I was at least halfway up the bowl of the brake master cylinder where I drilled and tapped for my fitting. Because I would much rather have my clutch not working properly compared to my brakes not working properly. I hope this video helps out. If you have any other questions about hydraulic clutches, feel free to put them in the description. There's other videos that I've done on hydraulic clutches and several that go over what I offer and the parts and pieces that you can buy from Days Cars. If you're interested in that, check it out. If you want to make your own thing, that's great too. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.